Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 Weather Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. It's been kind of a gloomy Saturday out there and really wasn't that impressive of a Friday either. The good news is, well, there is no good news. More rain continues as we head toward tomorrow, but there is some good news in the 10 days. So make sure you stick around to see when some 70s could finally return here to West Michigan. Speaking of the gloomy weather, we got some cloudy photos out there from Friday. Linda sent us this picture from Douglas. Pretty calm conditions out there over the lake, but it didn't always stay cloudy. We had a small peak of sunshine right near the end of the day and Mike captured it here in Grand Haven. Beautiful sunset. We did have another peak of sunshine early today, but those clouds really did take back over in the afternoon. Of course, if you have a weather photo, we love to share it here at 13 on your side. You can send it to me on social media, meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. The temperatures are going to drop as we head into tomorrow. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in blue as those cooler temperatures are in view, blinking bright with the rain in sight. View of the 13 weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. The temperatures as of about four o'clock were in the 60s for some cool Cooler on the lake shore as the rain had already started to push on shore. Temperatures will drop across the entire region as we head through the evening with a line of showers pushing through. Winds will start to change as well. They've been southwest throughout the day today. They'll turn to a more northwesterly direction for your Sunday, and that means much chillier temperatures are on the way. In fact, take a look at this. We drop down into the 40s tonight. That's not too bad, but as we get into tomorrow, the temperatures don't recover, only making it back up to around the upper 40s for tomorrow afternoon with scattered showers that could be possible at any time throughout the day tomorrow. Your day planner out there, cloudy skies, scattered showers, temperature around 40 tonight. We'll see rain chances pick up for Sunday. Mostly cloudy, straight peak of sun may come through, but that'll be about it. High 48 temperatures keep falling for Monday. We'll be in the 30s Sunday night. That means rain and snow possible by the time we head toward the start of the work week. Again, kind of a bummer for the first day of May. The radar out there as of about four o'clock show the showers pushing on shore. Some light to moderate rainfall coming from these. You may see a rumble of thunder from time to time, but honestly, that'd be about it. Not really expecting much in the way of thunderstorm activity from any of this rainfall. Once this pushes through, we get into a more sporadic rain pattern behind it. You can see what we're going to deal with tomorrow back out toward Wisconsin and Minnesota. That is just scattered shower activity. And then as we head into the start of the work week again, that could mix with some snow. So let's go ahead and track it on the hour by hour forecast. First round of rain pushes on through. It's gone as we head into the evening and while we are mostly quiet after that, can't totally rule out a scattered shower, so we're going to keep that chance in the forecast. Those chances do pick back up though as we head into Sunday. Scattered showers possible at any time throughout the day, but it's not going to rain all the time anywhere you are. So that is some good news there. Not a total washout, but you should be ready for rain. Keep the rain gear handy as we head through the day tomorrow. Heading into Sunday night, temperatures start to fall. We mix a little bit of snow in here as we go into early Monday morning with those snow chances really picking up as we head through the day on Monday. I think we're going to see a little bit too much blue here on the hour by hour forecast. Rain snow mix though likely throughout the day. Some areas may pick up a little bit of accumulation, especially up toward US 10. That's going to be the best chance, but a little bit of slushy accumulation on the grass, maybe a deck or your car could be possible throughout the day on Monday. Those small chances for rain and snow continue even into early Tuesday before they finally push out as we head toward Tuesday afternoon. While we're not expecting much in the way of snowfall, the UP, that's a very different case. We're looking at possibly a foot to two feet of snow from Marquette over to Ironwood and northwestern portions of the Upper Peninsula. Really going to be a major winter blast for those folks up in the UP. Once we get past the system, though, well, not too bad for the rest of the week. We see clearing skies as we go through the day on Wednesday, though the cloud cover mostly does stick around until we head toward Wednesday evening. We're back to fairly sunny skies by Thursday. Thursday, a little bit more in the way of cloud cover on Friday as some showers kind of scatter themselves across the Great Lakes. But I think here in West Michigan, we do stay dry and we'll stay dry all the way through the weekend and even into early next week before more rain chances start to push in by Monday and Tuesday, though this comes with much warmer air too. We could be looking at 70 degree temperatures by the end of the 10 days. So keep that thought in mind with the rain and snow come Monday. Here's a look at temperatures for Sunday afternoon. We'll be hanging around in the 40s along the lake shore with breezy conditions. We'll be looking at upper 40s to mid 40s for our northern zones with temperatures mostly in the upper 40s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. 
Temperatures do recover this week. We hit the 50s by Wednesday, 60s by Thursday. Temperatures even climb all the way towards 70 by day 10 of the forecast. If you're an avid gardener, whether that's uh, things for eating like tomatoes or peppers, or maybe you just like to plant flowers, you've certainly seen a seed packet before. And if you flipped it over, you've probably seen a map like this. This is the USDA plant hardiness zone map. And what this does is give you a clue of what types of plants will do well in what portions of the country. Well, thanks to climate change, these maps have been changing in recent decades. And what we're seeing is warmer conditions creep their way further and further to the north. So first off, how do we determine these growing zones? They look at annual minimum temperatures. They average them over the last 30 years. They place your region in a zone. Each of those zones has about a 10 degree range. So there's some play here. It's not like a small range that's going to move all the time. Uh, once you're in a zone, you'll probably stay there for a bit. At least that is used to be the case. Looking back toward 2000, this is what the 30 year average minimum temperatures looked like. But watch the dark greens as we go to 2010 and then on forward to 2020. They all start to creep further north as temperatures across the region warm and we don't get as cold during the winter months anymore. If you're here in Grand Rapids and you're getting some planting advice, maybe from your parents or your grandparents, if they haven't updated it, could be out of date because in the early 2000s we moved from zone five into zone six. The good news for us is we did stabilize in zone six and that's where we find ourselves today. So if you're planting something, you can look at that map and be pretty assured it's going to work in our neck of the woods. However, that's not quite the case in all portions of the region. We moved down the road to Flint and they've been up and down over recent years. Much like us in the early 2000s, they crossed out of zone five into zone six, but they only made it there about 10 years. Now they're back on a downward trend back into zone five. The problem with this is if you're trying to be consistent when it comes to planting a garden, this is more of a guessing game than anything of a hard science. And once again, I want to thank you guys for watching 13 Weather Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. You can always find more weather headlines, 13onyourside.com, or by downloading the 13 on Your Side news and weather apps.